Here we are, home sweet home, Miracle Village. Miracle Village may sound like an idyllic rural getaway, but this former sugarcane plantation, miles away from the rest of civilization, houses more than 100 registered sex offenders. Chad is the director of the Christian-based community. He spent a year in jail for having a sexual relationship with a 15-year-old student at the school where he was a music teacher. He has been on probation since his release and is forbidden from living less than 300 meters from a school, playground or park. The, the tricky part is we're so isolated, we're stuck out in the middle of nowhere. It takes 30, 40 minutes to get to civilization. And, and that's probably the biggest challenge because all of us would like to get closer to our families, get close, closer to employment. Most residents here are unemployed. They spend their time learning new skills or fixing the houses built for plantation workers in the 60s. At 24, David is one of the youngest residents. He was 19 when he had sex with a minor, a relationship he says was consensual. But after the girl's parents called the police, he was arrested. David is now in the sex offender registry, where his name, picture and address will remain for the rest of his life. It's just the harassment aspect of it. You go to a store or Walmart or go grocery shopping, you know, you got people sitting there because as soon as you walk in, there's a bulletin board. It's got your picture on. Somebody sees, oh, he sexually assaulted me by looking at me. And next thing you know, you got cops all over you. Everywhere you went, you were harassed. Matthew says he too was harassed after prison. He was a minor when he went to jail, arrested for having sex with a girl under 16. He says he doesn't belong on the sex offender registry with rapists and pedophiles. Sex offender label is um, taboo, you know. It, it doesn't matter what the crime was, you're automatically called baby raper, horrendous sex crimes. And they all lump them together, there's no difference, they don't care. Pat is one of the caretakers at Miracle Village. He thinks his own 12-year sentence was a fair one because he was in his 40s when he had sex with a minor. But Pat says the rules should be more lenient for younger people. You know, these kids need a break. People like me that were old enough, you know, we, we, we're the ones that should be, but not these young kids. These young kids should be given that second chance. They, they should be given that helping hand. A helping hand that's unlikely to materialize. After a string of child rapes and kidnappings in Florida, the state legislature is considering tightening its residency restrictions for sex offenders.